Tech Adventure book? The fuck did they do there? Nothing. What? Wait, what is this? I mean, free rewards, thank you. Oh, artifacts? Please tell me there are five-star artifacts here. Actually, I could save all of this for Sumeru. Hmm. Wait, that's it. Fuck, it's only four chests. I mean, they're gonna add more to this when Dendro comes out. Alright. Fuck. That's not what I want to see. What the fuck? Uh. Well, I've guaranteed Kazaha, but like... It's unlikely I'm gonna get Kazaha on these next few pulls. Really, nigga? I wanted to buy a Blackcliff Agate in case I got Hazo, but I didn't get Hazo, so fuck me. So... Damn. Four stars? Well, at least Chi-Chi's a Giga Chat for a give me guarantee. So there's that at least. And now my barrier on Toma's level 11 now. My Toma art like substats are perfect. It's just he's just not too amazing. Unlucky. All right, let's do these trials since I I can't get fucking Hazo or Kazaha. Oh, okay. So Hazo's unique. Where he automatically does one normal before charge, unlike Catalyst users, all the other Catalyst users, they just do charge immediately when you hold. So just like a, a melee user. Oh, his charge attack has a separate ICD. That's, that's actually huge. So if you just do two charge attacks, you can literally like get his f full stacks. Wait for these guys to get their elements or whatever. Bruh, bruh. Oh. I fucked up. Yeah. Throw that away. Oh, the E also has a separate ICD. What? Wait. Because that gave me a stack. God damn. And you don't even need to know that charge attack tech anyways, because like you get the stack so fucking fast. Alright, so the way he's unique is that he encourages the use of sub-DPS characters. Because he gives them all elemental mastery. He's a, no, he's not even a sub, he's not a support character. He's a animo damage character, right? Which is why he's running Widzith with uh, animo damage goblet. But he's also still wants to run Viridescent. It's just that you want to put your animo damage pieces on him, and not like anybody else except for like Zhao and sometimes Gene. No, not even Gene anymore. Not even Gene wants animo damage. It's just that like Zhao is so incompatible with sub DPS characters. Where Hazo is. And that's his biggest strength. So he's not after- No, he's actually easier to build than of all the other animal characters. Because Elemental Mastery is the rarest, like, substat. So, wh while you're trying to get Elemental Mastery for your Kazaha, or your Venti, or your- Your- Your Jean, your Sucro- Like, literally all the other fucking animal characters except Zhao. You can just put them on Hazo. Which surprisingly makes him extremely efficient. Does he lose stacks when he's off field? No, he doesn't. Huh? Wait, if you tap E with full stacks, does it do all ch charged e, e instead? Let me see. Yeah, it does. That's good. So you literally can't mess that up. That's good to know. Should I use Sack Sword or Iron Sting and Kata? My personal belief is that you should use Sack Sword. Because not only does it completely fulfill his energy requirements, right? It also gives him another E, right? Ka uh, Kazaha surprisingly does not have that much animal application outside of his burst, right? So his burst is surprisingly important, but you don't really need to level him if you're building for an elemental mastery Kazaha like I am. Also, I did some looking into the Genshin Optimizer, so let's, let's take a look here. This is my theoretical Kazaha, level 90, level 8 talents, even though they don't really need to be leveled unless you're doing a crit build, at, and you're using him as a, like a replacement for Shang Ling. So as you can see with Sack Sword, 31 
0.9% damage bonus for every element here. Now, as soon as I change the weapon to, let's say, Iron Sting, now we have 38%. So you're not losing much as far as the way of damage bonus when it comes to Sack Sword versus Iron Sting. ER gets thrown into the gutter. And you definitely do need ER because you do need to swirl, and more swirls are always better on an animal unit. And what gives you even more swirls is a sack sword. You want to have like 160 ER on Kazaha, and this gives him exactly that. So you don't even need ER substats. With my current array of artifacts that I have selected for him, I think I have two, three energy recharge substats. Two of these aren't even rolled into, and this one rolled into like once. 180 energy. Freedom Sworn, 39.9. Uh, refinements don't matter. Do I have this R4 if I collect R1? Still the same. Now we're going to activate Constellation 2. Constellation 2 gives him a bunch of uh, elemental mastery. 47.9 with C2 and Freedom Sworn. So that's almost 50% with a little over a thousand elemental mastery, right? We dropped that down to Iron Sting, right? 46.5 is, I think that's like a, that's like a 1% difference. And then we go down to Sack Sword. 39.9 and all that and you lose like all of your ER. Is that really worth it to you guys? Would you rather have a 1% damage increase getting the five star weapon? This would be better on like characters like Jean. That's just my personal belief of what you should run. I mean, if you don't have like a uh, sack sword or even Favonius, then I just run an e in ER Sands and that's probably easier to get. You probably already have one or you probably skipped over one by accident. As for my next destination, let's see where the wind takes me. Oh, I got the sword. Damn. You know, I was kind of hoping that it would just come at level 90. Well, it is cool looking. What materials does it use? Oh, I don't even have those. At least it increases your attack percent a little bit. Which makes it better than the flute by default. It's not more from Ah. Very funny. Before we hop on to the next quest. Huh? Would it gliding be faster? That's a new world quest. Yeah, you know, Warframe has been dry for years, and we were just kind of psyching ourselves out of it not being dry. Like, we really tried to do do different things, but it just never worked for any of us. And in the end, the audience left, and so so, so did we. We had to pack up our bags and go, because you're, you're not going to get any views doing Warframe content anymore, that's for damn sure. <laughs> no, that's not how you play the game. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally that every time. Ooh, another wish. For fuck's sake! I have a C4 Toma. I don't even need the extra ER he, he gives. Look at this, HP Sands. HP, HP. Fat Favonius Lance. Perfect substats. What the fuck? Here we go. Take flight. Think you can get away. Wait. Fuck. Where, where did this guy come from? <laughs> where did that guy come from? He just came out of nowhere. What the fuck? Where did that headshot come from? What the fuck? Well, he he's dead in two hits. Of the ruthless Nobushi. Traveler, you are so dreamy. What the fuck? He's so fucking feminine, it's hilarious. That was one ending. That was 46 minutes of dialogue. Yeah, I'll have to pack this up and do this tomorrow. Anyways, thank you guys for coming out to the stream. I'll see you guys later. Peace.